Hi, everybody. Welcome to another edition of Business Matters, the Broomfield Chamber of Commerce video podcast. I'm your host, Pat Monticelli, from the Chamber. Thanks for being with us today. And today we have a very special guest. One of the longstanding members of the Broomfield Chamber of Commerce has been Blue Federal Credit Union. They have been in this area. Uh, the chain goes back to the 70s, and they've been here as Blue Federal Credit Union since 2016. And Ashley Garcia with Blue is with us today. Thanks for being here. Thanks for having me. It is so great to be able to have a spotlight on some of our um, most exciting members and some of our most active members. And uh, so we want to take some time today to talk a little bit about Blue and what you do in the community and any great things you've got coming up. So tell us a little bit to start, Ashley, about, uh, you know, about Blue. What, what does Blue do in, in this community? So we really prioritize our members um, and to help create pathways to realize their possibilities. So we really want to be that co-pilot for our members um, and our communities as well. Um, one of the, my favorite things about Blue is how deeply involved we are in our communities. Um, we create free partnerships with local businesses, nonprofits, um, and even associations like HOAs and apartment complexes to extend our membership for free. And with that, we teach financial literacy classes and really try to be that educational financial institution um, where we can help with pretty much everything. <laughs> and I remember it wasn't so long ago that you actually taught a, uh, a financial literacy webinar uh, for the chamber. And that, uh, you know, that was very enlightening. I've been around the sun a few times, and still that was a very <laughs> enlightening webinar. Do you get a lot of people to take advantage of those sorts of things for, through Blue? Absolutely. Um, through COVID, we transitioned into virtual seminars. Um, so we started teaching those a couple of times a week where anybody could log on. You didn't have to be a member or a partner with us. Um, so that really helped to get um, people involved, especially through such tough times. Um, and now we're really excited to be back in person doing lunch and learns with our partners um, and hosting those events um, all throughout the community. And I know that Blue has been busy, not only in this community, but uh, seemingly everywhere. You've been back and forth. Uh, our partners to the North, Cheyenne, uh, you've been very busy with Cheyenne Frontier Days, haven't you? I have been, <laughs> yes. But it's all a lot of fun. I've never uh, been to a Cheyenne Frontier Days until this year. So they're celebrating 125 years, and um, it's just been a ton of fun. When people think about joining a financial institution, a credit union or a bank or anything like that, what are some of the things that people should look for um, when they make the decision of where they're, going to, where they're going to keep their money and where they're going to try to grow their, their investments, their wealth? I think the most important part is the relationship um, that you have with your financial institution. Um, really kind of starting off fresh um, at a new place, it's really great to find somewhere that really wants to get to know you and your personal goals um, to really you know, build up on um, what, where you see yourself in the future. So, um, and we also really are, um, we're really transparent with, we want you to shop around, find the best rates. Sometimes we not, may not be the right fit, but we're there to guide you through that and, and it's okay. Um, we just love when people are a part of the credit union world. Uh, what exciting things do you have on the horizon? Well, I'm really looking forward to our business after hours next month um, at our Lafayette branch. So that's really exciting. Uh, last June, we just celebrated 70 years. Um, so we had a big celebration at our headquarters for that. Um, and right now we're the title sponsors of Cheyenne Frontier Days. So once we make it through that, um, we're gonna be launching a new Do Good campaign um, for our branch that we just opened in Cheyenne. And um, we do that every time we open a new location. And really what we do is we uh, create a campaign in which we donate to a certain cause or a certain nonprofit in the area. Um, so when we opened our Lafayette branch, the Wild Children's Museum was one of our partners and we sponsored a, a really amazing community mural. So lots to come in September. I think that'll be launching. So we'll have to tell you more when we get there. That sounds fantastic. <laughs> Ashley, thanks so much for being with us today. Thank you so much. And that's all our time for Business Matters today. Before you leave, don't forget to like this edition of the podcast and subscribe to our podcast as well so we can keep bringing you great content. I'm Pat Monticelli. We'll see you next time.